What's up guys, Aaron Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a Halloween display update. So starting off here, we have my um, wannabe Chave guys, or RGB, but it, this has one of my fog machines in it, and it has a remote um, control option so that you can shoot it out um, when you want to. This one just has a fan, it'll come out these three holes, I'm going to have some laser on top of it or something, and some strobe lights and lasers here, and then for Halloween course and then lastly here we have a box with just a fog machine in it but I ended up not using this I either have to enlarge the hole because you'll see later in the video I made a fog blanket this video will be a little mixed up because this is taken over a week's time and here's a picture of the fog machine inside the box well before so out here as you can see, I have my fog blanket set up. I have the fog machine hidden behind the thing, um, thing and then I have the timer. And then the fog is coming out right now. Once it reaches the end of the pipe, it'll um, look nice. Usually the fog will reach um, into the graveyard part and look nice over the star shower in the back of the gravestone. It'll look really cool and also for the stuff for Halloween. But I also have another fog machine that's going to go there so it'll look nice anyway. Um, I think this just really looks cool with it out. I'm going to try and attempt to show you guys what the star shower looks like but you can't see it in the video. As you can see, fog is pouring out of the back of the pipe. Now here you can see I have two speakers, which I added some more later. Here's the other one that I added. And then I added it onto a piece of wood, and then there's going to be a disco ball that goes there too. And that's right there. So, um, also, over here we added a um, garden speaker, and it should go into the ground. But gives a nice sound in the back and the sides at 360. Here we have a light, it's going to illuminate that, but I've been moving that all the time. Um, here we have my um, new projector light, which you can change the gobos, because it's basically a gobo projector. It's LED, and it looks really nice at night in the house. I also added in these pumpkins under the white pumpkin. Um, today I just added a little flat pumpkin looking thing nothing special so I didn't add it in um, there's the strip that I don't want to get wet we will figure out in the end of the video um, but yeah I also added some caution tape onto the side of the railing and then I added these spider webs and then I have there's my tree that I added out there too here's what the global projector looks like at night and then you can see the ghost and the pumpkins the last pumpkin does it did go out with a light bulb in it, um, but I will fix that in a few seconds with a new light bulb, which won't be as bright. But here it is. And you see it's on this flasher circuit. And then over here we have this just this little um, picture illusion thing and then up in the tree we have another speaker which will give that nice 360 sound that I always and then um trying to cover up the flash of the mode to get out but um also um back here there is another speaker um which I replaced with the garden speaker. This was, I told you guys this video got messed up. There was no way really to fix it. But um, hopefully the next one will be more accurate. There's the fog pipe with the lights and the garden hose. 
to not know what I was doing with my hand there. Um, then I have some ghost hanging. I did add some fake blood onto these afterwards. And then here you can see all the different tombstones and stuff. Nothing special there. And then also right here, here's what it looks like with all the blood on it. Also here, I got a family's pumpkins today. Um, there's some right there. Here's one that looks like a pear. And then I found another. I also found another devil pumpkin and an alien head. And in case you're wondering why there's plastic bags on everything, that's because there was power strips, and I didn't want them to get wet. But next year we'll be buying these outdoor power strips. Have six outlets. So before anything went wrong, and before power strips have a fire, I decided to shut it down, and here's me shutting it down, it will return on the 18th, so here's the show. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Peace out.